getting rid of the root cause. The problem with most people trying to get rid of their acne is they're just treating the acne directly and that's treating the symptom. They never get to the root cause and they, they make some mistakes. Here are the mistakes. Scrubbing your face with cleansers. That's a very bad idea. Why? Because you have all this friendly bacteria on your skin. They're supposed to protect your skin and you basically scrub it off. So you're sterilizing your skin and then you wonder why it comes back or acne comes back or you have other issues. So scrubbing the face really, really hard and in with cleansers is not a good idea. I'm not saying don't clean your face, but don't start scrubbing. I made the mistake of that. I had really bad acne in high school and I would scrub and trying to, I would think it would be some like blackhead and dirt that I had to scrub off. Not good. It never worked. Antibiotics. What happens with antibiotics, it, it will help with acne, but it comes right back even worse because you kill off the good and the back, bad bacteria and you create strains, very strong, resilient strains of bad bacteria that, that are now don't work against antibiotics. And so it's not a long-term correction. Accutane is a kind of a synthetic uh, version of vitamin A, uh, which does work, but it has some slight minor complications like uh, nosebleeds, infertility, uh, blindness. Uh, I think it's off the market now, if I'm not mistaken, but these are some mistakes that people make. So what we need to do is we need to, the secret is to find out what's really causing the problem and understanding what the problem really is, okay? So that has to do with um, understanding what the sebaceous gland is. The sebaceous gland is the gland right underneath your acne that is creating the problem. So here, here's what's happening. You have like five different situations. You have extra tissue, tissue being formed you know, in a form of like a, a little flake, a dryness, uh, an extra skin nodule. Then you have a plug pore, okay? And that also can give you whiteheads or blackheads, which really has to do with this extra tissue kind of plugging up that pore. You have inflammation, okay? It's inflamed, red, um, painful. You have unfriendly bacteria in there that are feeding off the oil. And that oil is called sebum, okay? That's like the waxy, oily thing that's supposed to lubricate the skin. Um, so you have excess oil or sebum, and then you have an enlarged gland, okay? All these things are happening, and that's really what acne is. It's not just one thing. So my whole thing is let's get deeper. Let's see what we can do to correct the original reason why it's there in the first place, okay? Well, the th unique thing about the sebaceous gland is it's very highly sensitive to hormones, specifically androgens, which is like a male hormone, and even estrogen, both of those hormones, okay? Now, the way that you know it's more estrogen-related, uh, usually in females, and you would notice if, if during your cycle, or right before your cycle, it gets worse, okay? It might be, maybe it's even on one side of the face, which means it's, if it's on the left side, it's on the left ovary, because the ovaries uh, repetitively go back and forth each month and uh, release the egg and produce more hormones. So what happens if you have it more on this side, that means the left ovary is pumping out too much estrogen, okay? So it could be estrogen, especially if it's related to your cycle, uh, or it could be androgen. So let's just, let's just start with the androgen situation. Androgen, um, one form of androgen is called testosterone. Men and women have uh, testosterone, Men have it in more amounts, um, larger amounts. Women do still have it in certain amounts. You need it. But in, if you're a female, you don't need much of it. But in this situation, you're pumping out too much. And too much androgen will increase the sebum, the oil, the size of the gland itself, and extra tissue. So that's really what it's doing. Now, my question is, why? Why are you producing too much androgen, right? You say, well... I'm going through puberty or whatever, or even menopause can do it, right? Well, there's a couple reasons for that. Number one, um, you may have a condition called PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome. I put a link down below if you've never heard about it before, but that's basically a situation where you're female and your ovaries are pumping out too much androgen, okay? And the three big symptoms are acne, hair loss, or alopecia, or facial hair, okay, a deeper voice as well. So those are the symptoms, but while we're on this topic, uh, let's just talk about what causes PCOS. 
it's really high levels of insulin, okay? And it's a condition called insulin resistance. If you look this up, sometimes in the medical literature, it'll say that PCOS is associated with insulin. No, 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 it's not associated. It's caused by insulin because every single time you improve the insulin situation, the PCOS goes away. Um, so you might want to uh, learn more about that. If you, if you don't know about insulin resistance, okay, and you have acne, you need to read some of the videos. I'll, put, I'll list them down below because it's probably one of the most important things that you can understand about because it's so simple to fix this thing if you know what it is and what to do. And then you can actually kill two birds with one stone. Handle the PCOS, handle the androgen, handle the acne too. Okay, so insulin. Very important to handle that naturally. So that's one cause. The other cause is that you have too much of a certain enzyme that is converting your testosterone into something called DHT. That's just a, a very powerful form of testosterone. So DHT is like 10 times stronger than regular testosterone, okay? So there's too much of this darn enzyme that's just making way too much strong testosterone in your body. So now why would that happen, right? Well, one of the reasons is that you don't, you're vitamin A deficient. So vitamin A uh, will actually help reduce that enzyme Okay, and that's probably why <clears throat> Accutane works because Accutane is a version of vitamin A. It's a synthetic version. So I would start taking uh, vitamin A in the form of um, extra virgin cod liver oil. Okay, a high quality cod liver oil. Get the extra virgin. You can get it on Amazon. It's a little more expensive, but it's really good for your skin. So vitamin A um, will help the skin greatly uh, in improving the situation. Vitamin B5 is another vitamin that also works with vitamin A and it helps reduce acne. That's another remedy also to help this enzyme be lowered. And then zinc. Zinc is very, very powerful for getting rid of acne because it lowers this enzyme, okay? So, so we have lowering the insulin, okay? Adding vitamin A and cod liver oil and... Uh, also increasing B5 and zinc. Those are the things that I would do if I had acne right now. I wish I would have known about this in high school because I would have done this. It would have cleared things up very nicely. Now, let's shift gears over to estrogen. So if you have an estrogen problem, uh, that's a little different. Um, now, what could cause a high estrogen? There's a lot of things that can cause it, but the, the big uh, cause is a liver dysfunction, okay? The liver is not eliminating the bad estrogen that's in your body. There's an enzyme in the liver called aromatase, similar to this enzyme, but basically it will take the, estrogen, the testosterone that you have and switch it over to estrogen, okay? So now here you are, you know, you don't have this problem, you have a different itch, issue over here, and that mainly comes from a liver issue, and this can happen in men and women uh, but here's the symptoms um, or the problems with the liver. You could have a fatty liver, which a lot of people have, or scar tissue of the liver called liver cirrhosis that comes from inflammation in the liver from bad eating or a virus like hepatitis, something like that, um, or even a fatty liver. A fatty liver will then turn into cirrhosis over time. And again, these, these are not isolated situations. You could actually have insulin resistance. That creates the fatty liver that then causes this over here. So it's not just always cut and dry. So what I'm saying is that you have to look at acne as a clue and pull a string and get your body healthy. The skin is the largest organ in the body and it gives us clues on what's going on inside. Um, you can tell a lot about a person's health by their skin. So these are just kind of indicators you wanna to use to try different things. So liver dysfunction, okay? So that can keep your estrogens high because now your liver cannot detoxify these harmful estrogens. Other things that can cause this, high blood pressure medications, uh, specifically calcium channel blockers will do it. Uh, antibiotics will, will increase the estrogen. Alcohol will increase estrogen. It's very estrogenic. Yeah. Um, heartburn medications have been linked to high levels of estrogen. Antidepressants will increase your estrogen. So all these people are on medications and they don't know why they're now they're getting acne because it's doing this right here. 
Okay, so now what do we do if we have those issues? We want to start eating healthier, of course. The best food for the liver would be cruciferous vegetables. Okay, I'm going to put a link down below. Um, that would be like kale, broccoli, Brussels sprouts. There's another remedy that I like, and I put a link down below uh, for more information. It's, it's a product called DIM. And DIM is like 25 times stronger than regular cruciferous. It's a super concentrated version of cruciferous that will really help handle the estrogen dominance and help acne. It gets really good results with that. And then the last thing I want to talk about is stinging nettle root. That is a plant that will also lower this enzyme and clean up the excess estrogen in your body. Okay? So we got cruciferous, dim, or either or, uh, or in stinging nettle root. That's really good for the liver. Of course, apply the information on insulin, which I'm going to put the link below. Um, again, there's a lot of information in this video. You can go back and research it. But uh, these are the things that I would do if I had acne. And there might be other medications that you can take to get rid of it fast, but it comes back. So this is the best way to correct it fast so it doesn't come back. It's more of a permanent thing. Um, so I hope this helped.